Hello and welcome to a special video here on One Team in Ayrshire. After a summer of speculation, it was announced late last night that Greg Taylor will be leaving Kilmarnock to join Celtic for an undisclosed fee. Kilmarnock through and through, Greg was a role model to so many youngsters that came through the gates at Rugby Park. This is his Kilmarnock career and our tribute to our number three, Greg Taylor. After a youth career at Rangers, Greg switched Glasgow for Ayrshire and went on to captain our under-17 and under-20 teams before making his breakthrough into the first team in 2016. He made his debut against Dundee United on the final day of the regular season before playing in the second leg of the playoff against Falkirk, immediately making himself a fan's favourite by helping to secure our place in the Premiership. During that summer, Taylor signed a three-year contract with the club and went on to cement his place as a starting left-back but not without a few moments of learning along the way, including the time he welcomed Joey Barton to Scotland. After that red card, his performances matured by battling consistently with the likes of James Forrest. He became an integral part of the team during the success of Steve Clark's tenure and even scored his first professional goal in the 5 0 fashion of Hamilton. His performances for Kelly brought Scotland calling and he played 19 times for the youth teams, where he scored the only goal in a 1-0 win over Brazil in the Toulon tournament in 2017, as well as being named the fourth best player in the competition. He made his Scotland first team debut under Steve Clark against Belgium in Euro 2020 qualifying, where he played the full 90 minutes against the likes of Eden Hazard and Romelu Lukaku. After months of speculation, Greg signed for Celtic in the final few hours of the summer transfer window for an undisclosed fee. He goes with the best wishes of the Kelly faithful. Here's what a few had to say. So Greg leaves Rugby Park and heads to Celtic Park with the well wishes of all of the Kilmarnock faithful. He was such a fan's favourite in his time here, a real servant to the club and we wish him well in his future career wherever that may take.